the best hi-fi news of 2021, which also seems like the biggest clickbait video title of 2021 as well. But bear with me, and I'm sure you will agree that it is genuine and a legitimate statement. Now, I am a passionate, crazy audiophile, and I love all things related to hi-fi, AV, audio reproduction, video reproduction. I love it all, but one thing I don't love is negativity. And by negativity, I don't mean, you know, grumpy men being grumpy about things in forums. I mean the overriding negativity that I think mars the whole hi-fi industry and that it is in decline and that brick and mortar stores are in decline and they are closing and we are losing hi-fi dealers. And that is why I can confidently say that this is the best hi-fi news of 2021 because here in the UK we are bucking that negativity trend. I do know of a few hi-fi dealers that have opened up in the last year or so and that are making real success stories of it. And that is why I've travelled out to Whittam in Essex to meet Reference Audio who are a new hi-fi dealership that's just opened up and they are less than an hour's travel from me. So I wanted to come out here, find out more about the company, what sort of brands that they are offering, take a look around their facilities, and of course, brought the camera and everything with me to try and bring you along for the ride as well. So I'm here at Reference Audio with Adam Curtis and Bob Stairs. And I just wanna say guys, you know, thank you very much for giving me the time, you know, to come down and see you guys and have a look around. It's a, you know, a lovely facility you've got here. And obviously you've just opened, right? So you've still got- About a week ago, yeah. Yeah, so you've still got a few finishing touches to, to put in, but you know, it's looking lovely. And again, thank you very much for your time. It's good to have you no here. No problem, thank you for coming. Yeah. So I want to start by asking, you know, of all the businesses that you could do, of all the things that you could be doing with your time, why, you know, at the end of 2021, set up a hi-fi dealership? Hi-fi has always been a passion of mine. I've been buying hi-fi since 1975, a long time ago. And um, if you can turn your hobby into a career, um, even at my age, changing career is uh, quite exciting. It's not been quick. It's taken us the best part of two years to get to where we are now. Um, and uh, we're both passionate about it. I remember my dad marching me away from the generic High Street Electronics store into the audiophile store to buy me something that was of a good quality and that's kind of stuck with me. So it is a hobby. It's something I was able to explore a little bit later when I had a, a little bit more to spend. But ultimately, yeah, the opportunity came up. Um, me and Bob got on when we, when we, when we met. Um, and yeah, now we're sat in front of this, you know, incredible equipment um, and just thrilled to have the opportunity. So, yeah. I mean, looking around, you've got a really nice, varied selection of brands here. But, you know, how do you go about selecting which brands you want to stock and offer? And how does that process work? You can't just stock any brand that you want. Um, you have to be selective. You have to decide which parts of that brand you want to stock. And we've tried to stock equipment here that maybe you won't hear elsewhere. Um, also gives you a variety from low entry price point up to almost whatever you can afford to spend. And we also wanted this to be a destination store. So we had a, a big variety. We're not a, a high street store by any means. Um, so it's, um, it's a complicated process, more complicated than I thought it would be. But uh, it's uh, intriguing and interesting and uh, rewarding when you get it right choice is the spice of life isn't it but yeah. again picking brands has been about trying to find things that kind of complement each other from an opposite way so if you wanted something that will sit in a rack and be you know relatively you know inconspicuous in the room but superb um, you could do that or we've got other things that aesthetically might be a little bit louder to look at and arguably grab a bit more attention so you look at your brand portfolio and you go right well we've got that base covered how about this base like having a mix of solid state and tubes for instance you know we, we've been uh, diligent in trying to pick an option for everyone that wants something here. So hopefully customers find that. But again, as Adam was saying, we want to sell things that are uh, offer a customer a wide variety um, where they can come, uh, indulge their passion and find out and listen to equipment that they probably haven't seen anywhere else. You know, we've got BAT uh, amplifiers here. You're not going to see those in many places. Uh, Plinius, we're going to have Pilium here as well. Um, you know, the Griffin, the, the Martens and all of those products 
are a little bit niche, but at the same time, we've got Arkham, uh, Cyrus are going to be here, uh, Exposure we're going to have. So we've got a vast range um, to meet everyone's expectations. You've got that core British manufacturer as well. Like exactly, we've been really yeah. lucky, you know, lucky and, and, and uh, picking something like PMC or Kudos or, or, or Fine Audio, like you pointed out, core British brands and supporting British brands whilst also offering that alternative as well, like the Martin speakers. Um, so we're really proud to represent those brands, you know, and they don't, they don't pick everyone. So for them to be here is a, a big statement of intent from us, but also backing from them. So yeah, absolutely thrilled to bits with that. Well, I think that leads me really nicely onto my next question, really, because when, when you walk into this room, for example, which is the big, the big demo room, we'll talk about the rooms in a second, but you, you look around and there's some really expensive hi-fi in here. So, you know, I, I made a joke before about kind of oil barons, you know, everybody wants, you know, all their customers to be oil barons to walk through the door spending millions. But, you know, in the real world, who are your target customers? Who are you trying to attract? We want to attract everyone who has a passion for audio. So we can, uh, we've tried to set this up so that we could uh, sell a customer a system from a thousand pounds up to well over a hundred thousand um, pounds. People have different budgets, they have different aspirations. People also want to upgrade, so we want to get those uh, youngsters in who uh, want to start on the ladder and stay with us over the years and build their system. And we can help them do that. So offering a vast range of price point as well um, enables people to upgrade. It's one of the reasons that we haven't gone too much into active speakers because active tends to lock people in and uh, that's not really what we want as a business and uh, lots of customers don't want that either. They want to, to grow. Other customers want to buy a lifetime system and think they're going to stick with it until they get the bug mm -hmm. and then they come back and want to change and we want to be able to uh, accommodate all of that. You know, Hi-Fi is so diverse now, isn't it? You, you think about, you know, you can get a very good result for, you know, sub a thousand pounds, which we want to, yeah. we want to be in that market. We want to be on that journey. But equally, if, a, if an oil baron does turn up, Great. so be it. Yeah, yeah, we've got systems that will float those boats as well. But yeah. it crosses over into AV as well. And you look at AV and movies, um, gaming as well. You know, we, we've got an Xbox over in there for that kind of thing. If you want to indulge yourself in that in, in incredible quality, then we will sell to any demographic and, and make it feel absolutely fantastic. You know, I think that's probably something to, to mention as well, is that obviously the bulk of this facility is hi-fi orientated, but not all of it, you've got a dedicated cinema room with a yeah. big screen. So that's gonna be a, you know, obviously it's a little bit of work to go on in there in terms of finishing touches, but that's gonna be an amazing facility to show people in a, in a very good size room, but not a crazy size room. It, you know, it's a, a realistic size room for what some people I'm sure have. Yeah. and you'd be able to show them what they can have in terms of a dedicated cinema experience. Absolutely, it's seven and a half by five and a half, approximately, uh, with a four metre screen and a Sony projector. Um, 7.1.4. Yeah. Yep. Or 2.4 or 4.4, we've got lots of sub outputs. Uh, yeah. Exactly. Um, and it does sound amazing already. We've got in-wall speakers behind the screen, we've got on-wall speakers at the back. Um, so we wanted to offer that, we felt, felt that uh, uh, being located in Essex here, in the heart of Essex, there would be an audience for audiovisual. Um, being an older person, it's not my thing so much, but Adam is the guy who will... Uh, <laughs> did a fun thing with Bob the other day, those. actually. Bob, Bob's, you know, two-channel orientated, yeah. but I said, here, come down, sit, sit and watch this. I put the, um, the live concert of the wall on. Um, yeah. From which, which one was it? It was, um, it was Roger Waters, wasn't it? That's yeah, it, yeah. I mean, it's just amazing, absolutely amazing. Louis mine. <laughs> yeah. I want to quickly talk to you about the, the role of the hi-fi dealer in, in the modern world because you know it's, we all know the modern world is very e-commerce driven. You know everybody buys you know everything from toothbrushes to I don't know batteries from Amazon. So the hi-fi dealer's role to me is even probably even more important because you guys need to stand out. You need to offer you know a different level of service really to customers. So you know wh why would a customer want to come here as a hi-fi dealer? What a reference audio offering, you know, and, and why should someone come here and, and try and build or start to build a relationship with you guys? I think we can offer some expertise, although we're both reasonably new to the trade. We've been doing this for a couple of years or so now. Um, lots of people do buy online, and particularly during recent lockdowns, that's been the only option. Um, but the hi-fi hi trader, a dealer like us, 
uh, retailer can actually offer a first-hand experience of seeing the equipment, testing it, see how big it is. Sometimes people don't realise how big this equipment is and they think, I won't ever fit that in my ha home. Um, so we can offer that experience, help them build a system. Going online, you're going to get a variety of different uh, answers to your question and not all of those answers are going to be the ones you want to hear or they're not going to be accurate. Not saying that we can always be fully accurate, but at least we can help people through that journey. And if you've got a passion for it, as we have, that's what we want to do. We want to help them, and any decent hi-fi retailer should be able to do that. It's the same as well, isn't it? When you come in yeah. to hear that the building's quite big and it's, it's got its own car park, so it should, it's easy for people to navigate into, to park up and come and see us and spend some good quality time here. You know, we've got good coffee, we've got such a good variation of systems for people to listen to all wrapped up in a, a building that makes it look cool let's not let's not be around the bush hi-fi is cool and it should be presented in that way and when someone's buying it they should feel that and hopefully when they feel that in this room they're, they're spending their money on something that is going to help them enjoy their music more and music is um is important to us as well we're both big music fans so um, we're always interested in hearing new stuff and, and new stuff to play on as well can we talk a bit about the facility because we're in a this, this large large listening room at the moment. Yeah. But this is not your only room, you've got multiple rooms, which is the, the bit that's really impressive because yeah. how, how those rooms are tailored for a specific reason. So can you talk us through that? And we decided we wanted to turn this into a destination store and we have five demo rooms here now. Um, this large one on the ground floor here is roughly 11 by five and a half. Um, the AV room, as we said just now, is uh, five and a half by seven. And upstairs we've got three demo rooms that we wanted to be much more like a domestic home setting. So we've got a room that's roughly three and a half by five and a half, one that's three by five, and a square one, because some people have square rooms at home and it's roughly four metres squared. Um, and we wanted to try and make this place um, a destination for aspiration but also a destination where you felt at home. Accessible. And accessible. Yeah. And right from when you arrive, <clears throat> as Adam says, we've got 15 car parking spaces off street. Um, so you feel safe and happy as soon as you arrive here, have a nice cup of coffee and sit down and listen. And that's what we're about, really. I think with the rooms upstairs as well, you know, you, you've got to bear in mind that a lot of people are going to be using these systems in imperfect rooms. And you said to me earlier, I don't know what your room's going to sound like. So stuff does sound different. But when you go to a, a hi-fi store and it has got panels everywhere and stuff on the ceiling, it can be a little bit daunting that, OK, I'm hearing it, but am I hearing it? So we've been sparing with the use of room acoustics. Of course, we have to have a couple, but the fact is we've got five rooms for a reason. And if you wanted to look on the website, you'll see an, you know, an explanation of them, what to expect. So we've got soft furnishings in them. We've got artwork on the wall. We've got stuff that makes it feel homely. So when you hear, hear what you want to buy, you should hopefully hear it in an environment that's going to make you think, yeah, well, that's similar size to my room, or you know, this room's of a dimension that will work with the speakers that I've got at home. So, yeah, we're, we're, we're hoping people will come here and go, that's what I want, that's what I'm after. So obviously on that question, in terms of coming here, um, so you guys are based in Whitsum in Essex. Yes. It's literally just off the high street, isn't it? I'm sure that's where I drove, wasn't it? Yep. Literally just off the high street. Opposite the library, is it? On the Next, library? Just a couple of doors up from the library. Okay, so if you can find the library, you should be able to find <laughs> you guys. Yeah. And Whitham Station, five minutes away. Okay, um, nice, easy access from the A12 okay. as well. <laughs> so, so, but in term, terms of coming down here at the moment, obviously it's the end of December 2021. So, you know, COVID is still very much a thing, isn't it? Or it's very much back a thing, unfortunately. So in, in terms of booking appointments or coming in at weekends, how, how does that work? What is going to be the uh, short term anyway? We're, we're an appointment only business as it stands at the moment. We, that could change going forward, but at the same time, because of the space on offer and the fact that we have five different demo rooms, it does give us the opportunity to make sure customers feel comfortable in an environment when they're not going to be on top of each other. So if you wanted to book a single demo room for a day, you need only arrive in your car, park in your space, go to that demo room, um, and, and we can make sure that you've got all of that safety covered. Um, ultimately, we don't know where this is going to go, um, so we're prepared for that, but the space does give us a big advantage, doesn't it? One question that's always uh, on the back of my mind, because it affects me as well, is that when you work in a trade, does that affect, or when you work in a trade that's maybe your hobby, do you lose the love? You know, do you lose the uh, love for hi-fi or AV? Yeah. I've always imagined that uh, people that run stores like this have amazing systems at home, but. Uh, Adam and I seem to be quite unique in that. The, the people we've come across actually don't have much hi-fi at home or even a great interest. Um, but we come from uh, being customers, basically. 
uh, into this trade. So we've got good systems at home and we want to maintain those. So I probably listen to more music at home than I do in the store. Um, I guess that, you know, being here and seeing all of this lovely equipment helps me to choose equipment from home, for home. Um, and hopefully that will help us to influence customers and help them choose the right things. Well, Bob, you told me your system before. It's a pretty special one, actually. You give us a little bit of yeah, insight, because so, um, that is a bit of a special one. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. No, Talking down about it, yeah, it's like, oh, wow, that's yeah, pretty I mean, special. Actually. I've got a Griffin Essence preamp and power amp, um, a PS Audio uh, direct stream DAC, an In Your Statement streamer, um, and a pair of uh, Martin Mingus Quintet speakers. But that's a serious system there. You must really enjoy that because that's... It's a uh, great system. That's a great system, um, yeah. But, you know, you can always change and you can always improve. And I, I guess, <laughs> you know, being here enables us to take things home and try them. But at the same time, you know, we, we want to have our own systems at home. So we're perhaps a little different, I, I, you know, from other uh, people that run stores like this in that we do have good systems at home and we want to keep them at home. Um, that's what it is for me, it's a passion. Uh, you know, doing this is hope, hoping to uh, spread that passion uh, to others. Hmm. I've got to say, you know, I wish you guys the, you know, the massive best of luck for, for this venture. I'm sure you're gonna make it you know, absolute success. Yeah. And you know, like, like I introduced with the video really, in the sense I think this is genuinely the best hi-fi news for the industry for 2021, because there's a lot of negativity floating around that you know our hobby's in decline, and you know that bugs me. I hate that because it clearly isn't. I think there's more people loving music now than ever, and they, you know, are working out that you love it more when it sounds better. So this is an amazing facility, yeah. and if you're Essex-based or even further away, I would suggest coming down and you know meeting you guys because there's nothing like actually seeing this stuff in the flesh having to listen to it. Yeah. You know, you shouldn't really touch it because it's all shiny, but you know, touching stuff, it makes a difference, doesn't it, really? Exactly. So thank you very much again. Okay. And um, I hope you've enjoyed the video. I hope you found it useful and helpful. If all the contact details, obviously for reference audio, will be down below. And uh, thanks again for the time, really appreciate it. Pleasure, thanks. Thank, thank you very much. Out. Thank you.